Hey, welcome back to another video. Um, I wanted to share with you some a uh, couple of new commissions that I just recently finished. Um, these are uh, on 11 by 17 artboard. So this is the uh, traditional comic book size that most comic book artists when working traditionally would work in these proportions. And um, it's been a while since I've worked on this size artboard and it's been a lot of fun actually, actually. Um, got a whole pad's worth here, uh, Bristol board, Strathmore. It's the un, unruled, you know, there's no like blue guidelines or anything on it. Uh, just blank, clean Bristol board at 11 by 17. So it's been really fun to work at this size on, uh, some of these new commissions. The idea behind a lot of these, uh, new commissions that I've been doing is that I've been going back into, um, some like rejected sketches from uh, comic projects that I've worked on pretty much just ideas that I would send in that wouldn't get picked. Um, some of those ideas I really liked and I thought they would make strong covers. So recently I've been offering them as commission ideas. So if anyone wants me to take that image to a final uh, piece of art, I'm willing to do that. So um, this was one of them. This was for a cover. I'll put it up on the screen. Uh, this was one of the ideas for a cover for a Jughead one shot that wound up never happening. It never got published. The book never got published. So, um, but I did the cover and um, I've shared it on social media before, but these were some of the other ideas that I had submitted for that cover project. So um, someone saw those, uh, a, a patron of mine who's collected a, a lot of my work. Uh, shout out to Jen. She's a really uh, strong supporter of my work. So she actually commissioned me to do this one as well as this one. This is the other idea. Uh, this is more of just kind of like a jughead pinup. Uh, it's hard to actually fit this size into the full frame of the video. Um, but yeah, it's fun kind of referencing the old school classic jughead design with the uh, newer school version. And uh, at the request of Jen, she actually asked if I could include, because in the original sketch, I had Jughead um, holding an Archie comic. So uh, she asked if I could include Jughead holding uh, the Adventures of Jan and Tex comic, which is my creator-owned Patreon comic, which I thought was a great idea, and I really appreciated <laughs> uh, being allowed to plug my, my own comic in there. So yeah, it's been fun. I just thought I would show off these. Um, just because on the channel, I've been talking a lot more about original art versus digital art. And um, as you know, I do both. I, I enjoy both. Um, but lately, I've definitely been getting a lot more, I guess, satisfaction out of getting back onto the artboard and using uh, traditional tools and just getting to kind of like touch these things and turn them around at the end of it. Uh, there's something really kind of nice about that process. So um, with these two, a lot of times when I'm working on commissions or just original ink drawings that I'll eventually sell, um, I've been going on straight onto the board. Like I'll make a quick little thumbnail size. I think I've showed it on a few other uh, previous videos, but I'll just make a quick like thumbnail size idea and then I'll go right onto the board and just kind of work it out. But um, because these were, I guess a little bit more, especially like this one was a little bit more of an involved cover kind of idea. Um, I kind of sketched it out onto, uh, I sketched out digitally actually, and then I printed it out full size and light boxed it. So this is actually the way I used to work before I went over completely digital. I would, um, you know, draw something first on like scrap paper and then I would light box it onto the final board. Um, so here's a look at that sketch. You can see everything is there, like the whole composition's there. Um, the poses, not so much hot dog. <laughs> he was just kind of a placeholder, but um, it just helped just get everything like proportionally laid out onto the final board. And then from there, obviously I changed around details and um, added stuff, worked on hot dog a bit. Um, I bought a new, I finally got a new light box. I'd, I had held on to the light box that I had since I was like 12 years old or something like that. It's 
crazy. But um, recently, within the last six or seven months, um, I moved and I got rid of that. So I'm, I'm up to date 2021 <laughs> with uh, this is what all the kids are using, I guess. Really lightweight. This is like I could just you could just put this in your bag and not even know it's there. It's pretty awesome. Um, I'll link it down below. I just got it on Amazon. I don't know. I'll link it down below if anyone's interested. You've probably seen this before and probably have it. I was using something that still needed like a light bulb inside of it. <laughs> it was from uh, from a very long time ago. So yeah, cool. Um, these are some new ones. Like I said, I'm working on a bunch of these actually. It's been really cool to um, go back into a lot of these old sketches and um, you know, rework them and see them come to completion for a new use, which is really great. And um, thank, I'm very thankful to everyone who's been uh, commissioning me to do these ideas. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, and yeah, I'll try to make some more videos when I finish the rest of them. So yeah, if you have any other questions or comments about any of this stuff, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.